Next, I want to print my spreadsheet off, but before I do it, I want to click on the Print Preview button to see what it looks like, because right now, when I scroll down, I've got a lot of information. I mean, is that all going to fit on page one? I don't know. The easiest way to find out is click on the Print Preview button, and then I can click on it to zoom out, and in the lower left-hand corner, it says I'm on page one of two. To go to the next page, I click Next, and it looks like it spills over. In fact, when I click to zoom in, Doug Heffernan is the cutoff point, and click to zoom out. I don't have a, those column headers like I have on page one, and it would be really nice when I print these off and hand them out at the meeting that people, when they get to the second page, can, can look up at the top and say, oh, I'm in the employee ID column, Social Security. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to repeat that row that has all those column headers at the top of each page it prints out. And in this case, it's only on page two because that's all I have is two pages. So I'm going to close out of here. And by the way, anytime you're in print preview, you're going to get these what I call scars or leftover markings. They're like page breaks or cutoff points. So for example, in column J, I could add another column. But if I go to column J or I expand this all the way past to column J, like column I and have more text, it's going to be cut off here. It won't be included on the first page. Also, you can see where it breaks here at Doug Heffernan. He's at the top of page two. So I'm going to hit Control Home, File, to Page Setup, and then click on the Sheet tab, and Rows to Repeat at top. I could type in the row, but it's so much easier for me to click on the Collapse dialog box and to select the row that I want. In fact, to help you see this, I'm going to click on the blue title, the title of this little window, and drag it out of the way. And then I'm going to click anywhere on this row here, row number four, and it automatically selects the whole row. Now that's the only row that's going to repeat at the top of each page. I could click and drag to get those marching ants to include also the a company's name, Dreamforce. But for this example, I'll just use the uh, row number four. I can either click on this little box right here to expand it, or I can hit enter on the keyboard and it pops open as well. And then go ahead and click OK. Nothing magical happens here. It's just when I click on the print preview, and I'll click to zoom out, and I go to page two, excellent. When I zoom in, I can see those column headers repeating at the top of this page, and it would be every other every page that, I've, that I have in this document. Now, as you become more advanced in Excel, you'll find that in the print preview, you also have a setup button. Now, when you click on it, you got the sheet tab, but you can't do it from the print preview. You have to close out, cancel, close out, and go under the file menu down to page setup to access the sheet tab and to make any changes here. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.